Well, now, around the age of 12, one day she came on one of her usual visits, and that's when she told us all, my foster parents and I and Janine, we were all sitting in the kitchen, and this was a very uh, emotional time. We were all sitting, and she says, um, she's telling them, she's not even talking to me, she's telling them, I came to pick up Fanny, we're going back to Brussels together, um, she's going to go back to school there, and she then looks at me, and she says, I, I remarried, I am remarried, I, uh, she says that she remarried two weeks ago, that she had known this man for quite a while, but they finally remarried, they finally married each other two weeks to, prior to her coming to tell me all this. She also told me that he has a little boy who's six years old, his name is Willie, and that her present husband is a widower. His wife had died in a car accident a year before they met. And that his name is Maurice. And that we'll all be very happy together. That she's still very young. Well, of course she was young. She was only 32. That, he's, that her present husband is a wonderful man. He's in the glove business, leather glove business. He has a big factory, and he's a very nice guy. His little boy is adorable, and we're all going to be very happy. She also said that my father, at the present time, does not live that far from where she lives, and every Sunday he will take me at his visiting rights. And anyway, she said to pack. And, and I looked at her, this was, it was so sudden, and no preparation, no, she didn't give me even two days or three days or a week to, to think about it. After living for three and a half years with my foster parents, all of a sudden I'm supposed to rush right back and with, with these new people, the, the, her new husband, that, that kid of his, without any preparation whatsoever. I started to cry hysterically. I yelled, I don't want to leave. I didn't want to leave. I know that had I had to go back with her, along with her, like before when, we, when I was on vacation and I'd visit her, I know that I would not have had any qualms about it. But uh, to to go to a to her beautiful apartment with her and to meet this man, this stranger, and his son, it, it was overwhelming to me. I absolutely could not face it. I, I was willing to accept the divorce already. I think I was willing and share them, you know, stay sometimes with her, sometimes with him, but this whole new family it it was anyway I cried, I, I screamed, I didn't want to leave, I didn't want to leave, and Madame Pierrot hugged me, and she kissed me, and she said, well, it's for the best, your mother your mother has your, her rights with you, she, she, there's no choice, you'll come and visit us in the summer, she tried, she was so wonderful. Anyway, I could have cried till tomorrow, it didn't matter, she had made up her mind that I'm going back with her, and that was that. So, uh, Within one hour, I, w I was all packed up, and I had to say goodbye to these two wonderful people who were so good to me, and to Janine. And we went on the train from Lille straight to Brussels.